So you've seen on your tasks that you have got a recently prepared learning and assessment record, which has been set by your skills and development coach. So in order to complete the tasks for this and for them to become active, uh, this needs to be accepted and signed by yourself. So how to do this and how to navigate this is what I'm going to cover in the next few steps. So you're going to click on your recently prepared learning and assessment record. So it's really key for me to make you aware that the um, there's a default two week turnaround period for this task, um, which is set by one file. As you can see on the right hand side, you've got your start date and then your due date. But what you need to be looking at is within the instructions here, your skills and development coach will give you a time frame. So, for example, the skill scan, 72 hours submission time frame for this one. And then your your next task has one week of receiving the task time frame. OK, so be really, really cautious when you're reading your learning and assessment records that you are reading the full instructions for this. OK, so let's scroll down to the second one. So task two is going to be looking at the appeals policy. So looking at your rights as a learner, um, looking at the um, assessment decisions and impact your ap academic progress and outcomes will have. Looking at policies. OK, so there's some handy documents in there that you need to be reading and making sure that you're familiar with to set you out on a really good learner journey. So you have a plagiarism policy within here and this covers the use of AI. Um, and as you can see in the instructions, both tasks are to be completed within one week of receiving this task. So this is when you sign the task and it becomes active. Okay, And let's scroll down to the next one. Um, this one is the study skills guide. So for example here, um, this one has three weeks of receiving the task. So try not to really look at this too much um, because it is set as a two weeks default. Um, but it's the main most important part is looking within your instructions. And if you aren't sure, always speak to your skills and development coach. So. I've made myself familiar with my tasks. I'm happy with what I need to cover. OK, so I'm just going to have a little look through um, any questions that I might have. I'd be reaching out to my skills and development coach at this time. Um, but it's mainly looking at the instructions here and just making sure that you're happy. Um, you've got a four weeks time scale of the third task and then underneath uh, six weeks task so you have your separate tasks which are made up within this one learning and assessment record so making yourself familiar with this um, and also you have your feedback and comments box here so time frame for completing activities it's really key to understand this um, and to make yourself familiar with um, how you are going to be completing these so in really important as well in your feedback to your skills and development coach is that you accept that these tasks are here that they're active you're happy to do them um, if you have any concerns around the tasks pop them in this box now as well um, but I'm happy I know my deadlines the instructions are clear and concise so I'm going to sign this as learning and assessment record and I'm going to press accept and now you'll see the task become active. So, for example, let's scroll down to the second one. This is where you're going to submit your, um, your documents. So this is looking at the appeals procedure and policies and the plagiarism policy. So I've done this task, I've looked at this, I've understood it and I'm happy with it. So you can go in and you can set criteria. always possible but that's fine so we're going to come back into this one here some of them say so when you're having your 
uh, diploma areas you can set your own criteria and then this then gets to get submitted to your skills and development coach if they agree that you've met the certain criteria they'll sign it off but then they can also map it into what they think you've also covered in this it's really good um, empowering and you guys being able to identify the criteria that you're covering so for this example we haven't got that so I'm going to add the attachment so this is where my um, document is, for example. So I've read the plagiarism policy, I've signed it, I'm happy. This is where I'm going to put my documents. So this is my first document. I'm going to attach it here. So you select file, you go into the documents on your computer and you're going to attach it. So you can see it's there and I'm going to go back to the assessment. Okay, that's my document added that covers the task that I've completed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some feedback to my skills and development coach. So identify what you enjoyed about this task. Did you find any challenges? And also, what have you learned? How are you going to use this within your practice? Yeah, were there any barriers that you might have to overcome? Is there anything that you need any, any extra further support with? This is a really good communication tool with your skills and development coach so they can be identified and also help you moving forward with any task issues that you might have. So if I've done this within working time um, and I'm being paid to do this, I will add my off the job hours in. So for example, if this took me 10 minutes to do, um, I'd click that as off the job. I'm working, it's in my working time and I'm being paid and I've learned something new. So I've done this. I'm happy with what I'm going to be doing. You can change the assessment title as well. So you can say evidence for task two, for example. And if it's a plagiarism policy, very good to change the title so then your skills and development coach but also you can identify this really clearly um, when you're reviewing back your documents so the next part here so I just need to give your um, give you some guidance for this so when you are signing this this is a declaration that you agree that the information provided here is an accurate account of what has taken place so this is your work this has been done by yourself this hasn't been copied and pasted um, this is the declaration that you are signing that this piece of evidence is authentic to you okay and um, you will cover plagiarism and referencing um, and study skills as we're moving forward but this is quite an important um, declaration that you are signing on behalf that this is all of your own work so I've attached my document on here. I'm happy for this to go. Normally I'd put some feedback in here. So I enjoyed this task. I have learnt about plagiarism and the policy that dynamic follow. And then how are you going to use it? So I will use this knowledge within my studies as I know how to reference. And you're always going to have spelling mistakes because you're typing. Okay. So maybe you had a barrier. I felt that this will need to be revised again moving forward so sometimes in the task you might find that there's a lot of information and you might have to refer back to it and that's fine but just make your skills and development coach aware of any issues that you might have had um, because there might be another way around um, you know completing the task that we can support you with so I'm happy with that. I've popped my feedback in my box. I've got my off the job time covered. My evidence is attached. And I've got some feedback from my coach. 
So I'm going to sign this one on completion and I'm going to save and refresh. Okay. And let's just check that's done. Brilliant. So you can see here my feedback, my piece of evidence that's attached. And then this will then go to my skills and development coach who then is going to map the criteria in for me. And as you can see, the task number four has gone down. So then I have my other task to be looking at. So this one will be the next one that I'm going to be looking at here. And again, you've got your instructions at the top and you have your, um, your easy to read submission date. So three weeks from receiving the car task. Um, you can print the workbook out and write it by hand or type in the text box. So you've got your instructions here that are clear, clear and easy to look at. So again, you're going to be um, potentially setting the criteria if that's available for you, but you're going to be adding your attachment evidence in of your workbook, giving your skills and development coach some feedback, popping in your off the job time, and then you're going to be signing on completion. I hope that helps with your, um, your learning.